welcome to my guide in Druidstone, the secret of the Menhir Forest on this mission where the bonus objective is to kill one basilisk and open all the chests. So we're gonna try to do that and our main objective is to escort Fernos to the exit which is right here. So you need to kill one of these um, basilisks and they have a lot of HP now. As for the upgrade, I have given one of my gems to get additional focus and the other to get additional fire. And we're gonna start this off by moving our green man here. And we're gonna uh, swap Fernos with the, red, the Acolyte. After which we're going to use Focus and Fire to kill off both of the slugs and to hurt the Basilisks. And then you want to move your Alkite this way because we're gonna try to go inside towards the Spellbook. This is far enough from the Basilisk. You have to watch out for that. They, normally, if you this is the area they have, then if you're here, they can hit you. If you're here, they cannot. But this time, if you're actually here, they can still hit you because they have petrifying ability that has like a like a little bit of a range. So you need to be two squares away from where the area ends. So that's something to watch out for. And we're gonna grab our girl and we're gonna move her this way. And we're going to whistle with our main guy to get Fernos to come closer. Now he's going to be very close now, which is actually good for you because... Uh, and when we can mix this again, we'll be moving closer. Uh, so that you don't have to waste next turn your action points on moving him away from the basilisks. That's actually something that you want to do. So you want to get him as far away from the basilisks as possible. And we're going to get some wasps. And we need to destroy the wasps net to... Uh, stop uh, stop it from spawning more wasps. So that's something to look at. So we're gonna move our guy to uh, First of all, we're gonna move our girl. We're gonna hit this wasp and Then we're gonna keep her where she is and we're gonna move the acolyte towards here uh, Actually, we're gonna first hit this basilisk And then we're gonna move him here Which is still far enough from the basilisk because we want to get him to read this spell book, okay? And then we, uh, this is, they are all far enough from the basilisk, so we don't need to worry. And our other guy is going to move to... Uh, I'm going to like make the girls go he here. And we're going to move our guy to here. And I'm going to go for guards. So that when the wasp comes to us, we can, um, we can kill it. Now, I could uh, shift towards this action point. It doesn't really matter. We'll, we'll kill the wasp as soon as she gets here so it doesn't matter. I don't like using the action points in my guides because then these rewards are random so I wouldn't be able to repeat it so we're not using anything. Fine. Even if we get the action point I will not actually use the action point. I will waste it so that you can kind of see how this works. Yeah she can hit him twice doesn't matter. But because of the action point you'll get hit just for one time. It, it doesn't matter. Now next up what we want to do is we want to uh, use this bow to kill off this wasp. Okay, we're gonna move our guy to here, open the spell book, get another focus. We're gonna move to here, we're gonna use the boltning on the basilisk again. And then we're going to swap our position with a uh, Leonhard. So we need to go a step further. I was still on one side, okay. So I'll move Leonhard one step back so now they can swap. Uh, before we do that, we want Leonhard to whistle. So that this guy can come close. And he will now be far enough away from the basilisks. Then we're gonna swap our guys. Yeah, we're gonna swap with, with Leonard, and then Leonard is gonna move closer as well. And our girl can... Uh, our girl is gonna move closer. She will get hit by the, the wasp, but it's just one wasp, so it doesn't particularly matter. I want her to open this chest. Because then we're going to get like multiple enemies here on the left and we want to make sure that um, we can um, like get rid of them. So we're going to move our Acolyte guy here and we're going to use a lightning bolt at the wasp net so that we will have no more wasps. Our girl is going to use her bow to kill off this wasp. And then she's gonna move right in front of the chest so next time she can open it. And then our main guy is just going to need to...
Yeah, you need to move Fenris, uh, Fernos, because right now this guy would be able to petrify him. So we're gonna move our main guy to here, and then we're gonna use the whistling to, to get Fernos to follow us. We've done a lot of damage to the Basilisk already, so that's pretty cool. So that's gonna help us out a little bit later. Yeah, we need to get rid of, the, of these walls fairly quickly. But we should be able to do it this turn. We would like to try to destroy the nest. We're gonna get some enemies here again, that's okay. So we want to move our guy to here. Yes, to here. Then we're going to shift to the middle position and then we're going to use Whirlwind to kill off both of the wasps and to to hit uh, the, the wasp. Man. Okay. Then we're going to move our Acolyte um, closer to about here. Uh, actually, just one step. Yeah, one step is enough to here. And we're gonna use the boltning on the wasp net to destroy it. And then we're gonna swap our position with the Fernos the ally so that we don't need to use our action point of whistling. Move this guy away. So at this point, we should be far enough away because this guy, even if he gets here, we, he does not have the line of sight, so we're fine. And our girl is now going to open the chest. And we're gonna move her up onto this pressure plate, which, uh, so that we can open the path to this other chest. Okay, and then we're gonna end... Uh, actually, mm, yeah, you could use our potions, I'm not using them just yet. Yeah, we're just gonna end the turn here. The Mist Master will hit our, our, our main guy, that's okay. We can heal him next turn quite nicely. We can do the, like the 5 damage thing healing, which is pretty cool. Uh, the 5 HP, so actually it's, it's not bad if he gets hurt a lot. So then our girl can use her super cool healing, which is this one, and revive him of 5 points. I'm gonna use Cure. Then we're gonna use our main guy to go and uh, attack the Beastmaster. Okay. Now the Basilisk again are too close to Ferno, so we're gonna move One step here, we are gonna swap. Actually, let uh, yeah, we're gonna swap with uh, Fernos. So now he's far enough away from the basilisk, as you can see. And we're gonna move our guy closer. If you have this spawning here, where's the other spawning? Yeah, here. Uh, we could. Um, and we're gonna move to here. And we're going to use focus on the lightning. So we can hit both him and him. This will allow us to finish off... Unfortunately, we can hit the Basilisk, but that's okay. So we're gonna hit them both, which will allow us to kill the Beastmaster, so it's not gonna do damage to my green guy anymore. And also hurt the spawning. We're not hurting them, like, too much, but it's at least a little bit of something. And we will end the turn. Yeah, they're, they're hitting him for just one, so it doesn't particularly matter. Okay, Basilis could come in closer. Now, then we want to move our guy to here. Hit the spawning. And closer so that he can open the chest next turn. Yeah, we're actually going to leave this guy allow alive for one more turn. We're going to swap with... Uh... No, we can't swap it. Now, we're going to move one step here. Uh, maybe one more step. We're gonna swap with. Oh, come on. We're gonna swap with Leonhard. We're going to open the chest. We have no more action points. Leonhard is gonna stay here, that's fine. Uh, actually, I might even. Yeah, I'm gonna let him move one step to this, which is gonna be important for later. Now, our girl, is she can actually move a bit more in the back, so she doesn't need to be. She doesn't need to hold this open anymore, so we're gonna move her a bit back. Like that. And. We're going to whistle to get a Fenros, Fernos to come closer. And then she's going to end her turn. Yeah. This guy is still alive, but that's okay. We can, we can always kill him later. Oh, yeah, we're going to kill him this turn. So now we want to move... Um, 
now at this point it's 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 the difficult part right because you have this basilisk that you've already heard but now he's gonna like petrify your people and hurt them so one thing you kind of watch out have to watch out for is uh how you're gonna kill them so first of all we have this spawning here so we're gonna use a lightning bolt to do three damage to him with our acolyte and then we need to use our girl to to finish him off so that it doesn't bother us anymore and we're gonna move the girl a little bit back And he's going to guard. And this is very important because we need to make sure that our enemies do not hit uh, Fernos. We're gonna move to here. We're gonna move one step. We, we cannot uh, swap with him now. We're gonna move one step closer and then we can swap with him. And then we can make sure we can move him back if when, when needed. So our girl can even like take another step back or something. She can stay there. That's good. So we're gonna end the turn here. And we're gonna let the, the this basilisk petrify our main warrior. Now this is going to start a dialogue. The only important thing is that uh, the the basilisk cannot uh, petrify a uh, fernos. They have to petrify one of your people. And this is going to start a dialogue, and you're going to get a thing that you can use to stop the petrifying. So we're going to use that this turn. So we're going to use this, and this removes all harm harm for condition conditions on him. So it's going to get rid of his uh, petrifying thing, which is important. Now our girl is just going to hit the basilisk. She's out of range, so she's gonna step one step close. No, actually, no. She's going to heal. So we're gonna move her closer. We're gonna cure. No, okay, fine. We are going to swap ourselves with Fernos. He's not at the exit. That's important. Then we're gonna use a uh, focus and fire. To do damage to both, uh, it doesn't matter if you're doing damage to both or one basilisk. Uh, we can just do both, so we'll just do both. Okay. Then we are going to take the girl, and we want to heal him. So we're gonna take Leonard. We're gonna hit the. We're gonna take a step closer. Yes. Hit the basilisk. Then we're going to shift. Are we gonna shift? I thought you could shift. Okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, that was a mistake. Um, I thought we had the shifting. I forgot we used the shifting. So just hit the basilisk again. You're gonna move uh, closer with her. Yeah, so that next time you can heal him. Or you could use the potion. I'm not gonna use it just yet. Let the basilisk hit him again. It doesn't matter. The other basilisk cannot do anything, so you're fine. So you're gonna let Leonard heal himself. Then we're going to use the girl to heal him as well. And we're going to use the Acolyte to... Then we're going to use our Fire on the Basilisk to do a lot of damage. And we're going to swap the position of the Acolyte with Leonard so that the Basilisk will now hit the Acolyte. Now remember, you do not need to end this with full HP. Now at this point, you can just use this guy to use another Fire. You can do 3 damage to the Basilisk. And then you're going to use um, this guy to move in the back to the exit and you're going to whistle and then you're going to use your girl to use the bow to finish off the basilisk. You have finished all the objectives and now you can whistle for Fernos to get there and you're done. Okay, so this is how you do it. Now the important part is depending on how the basilisk moves for you, is you need to either heal your people or you need to properly swap them around so that the basilisk will not actually kill them, that it's only just gonna hurt them. And remember the, the HP at the end of the game does not matter if it's not part of the objective. So you can easily uh, finish this up um, with low HP. It doesn't matter, just, just switch them around, okay?